Hey everyone, it's Desi Cheng, and today I'm going to be comparing the Bellroy uh, Venture Sling 9 liter bag uh, versus the brand new 2022 Air Day Sling 3 Max. Uh, both of these are larger sling bags that can accommodate, um, you know, an iPad as well as uh, a camera. And uh, this one, re the Bellroy retails for about 129 US dollars, and this one retails for about 95 US dollars. And um, you know, they're both not the same size. The Bellroy is a little bit larger at nine liters, and this one's a little bit smaller at six liters. However, they're both slightly comparable in size. So first, I'm gonna show you how this bag looks like on my body. Next, I'm gonna give you a first person view of essentially how I access my contents and everyday essentials inside each one of the bags. And lastly, I would tell you about which bag I would choose. All right, so before I dive too deep into each one of the features, I do wanna start talking about some key differences between the two bags. Um, and uh, so I'll start off talking about the Bellroy Sling and why I like this one. Uh, so first thing is that the zipper in the opening is um, top down, meaning that uh, whenever you just shove your contents in, and even if you kind of bend over a little bit, um, your contents won't really fall out just because it's, you know, it's like a bag, a stuff bag that opens from the top. Uh, the second thing I really like about the bag is that, that it has a dedicated um, sunglasses holder at the very, very top, which is also a little bit fleece lined. So then if you have your content sitting on the bottom, uh, you won't really crush your sunglasses because it sits at the top. Um, and then the other thing I really like about the Bellroy is that um, it has a quick release buckles from either side. So you can release it from the left side or the right side. Uh, and how you adjust the bag also has two adjustments um, buckles on either side. So whether you're wearing it on your left side or your right shoulder um, to really just, you know, slide it and loosen it is really effortless. And that's uh, one, you know, big feature that I really do enjoy. Now talking about the Air Daysling 3 Max. Um, so first off, I th feel like the look of this bag, um, I like, me personally, I like the look of this bag over the Bellroy, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing I like about this bag is that it has actually three exterior zippers. The other one just had two, the main compartment and a front uh, accessory pocket. This one also has the front accessory pocket, the main compartment, but it also has a back zipper as well. So if you wanted to keep uh, more valuables that are closer to your body, but easy to add, access. Um, that's one thing I like. The other thing else I also like is it has a grab handle. The Bellroy does not have a grab handle at the top, so this one does. Uh, and I really, really like it just because sometimes you just want to just quickly just grab the bag um, and, and not, you know, sling it around your shoulder. And with the air, you can do that. Um, and then the other kind of major feature that I like about the air sling is it actually has a dedicated um, sleeve at the back where you can put your um, tablet right in here and you can still have room for like a, a small mirrorless camera or anything like that. With the Bellroy, it's just kind of one big open space. So if you put your camera in there, it's probably not a great idea to put your tablet in there with it just because you will probably scratch, you know, one of those electronic items. So now let's see how this bag looks like on my body. I'm about 5'8 and 180 pounds. So first off here is the Bellroy sling. And now notice how easy it is for me to loosen it up and tighten up the straps. And with the quick release buckle on either side, I can easily take it off uh, on either side, whether it's on my left side or right side. And now here is the Day Sling 3 Max. Notice how it's a little bit more difficult to loosen and tighten the strap. And with the buckle being on this one side, you can really only access it when the bag is on your left shoulder. When the bag is on your right shoulder, it's a little bit more difficult to take it on and off because you gotta kinda swing it around in an awkward position. 
Okay, so this is kind of a first person look of the Bellroy Venture Sling 9 liter. And um, I'll kind of show you the, you know, what I have inside my bag right here. Uh, and I'll try and show you different combinations using uh, different cameras and things like that that I have. So at this very, very front pouch right here, it's got the zipper. I do wish this zipper pull was a little bit larger, um, but in here, it's, you know, it's got some nice volume. Right now I just have a pack of sanitization wipes, um, san hand sanitizer, and my keys that are on a uh, leash right here. So that's kind of, uh, you know, what's inside this kind of front pouch. And um, yeah, I mean, it has this nice elastic cord right here for your keys. And it's a, I feel like it's a large enough, a uh, long enough length for you to pull out your keys and, you know, open your doors and things like that. So yeah, the one thing I would recommend would just be to, you know, have a slightly larger zipper pull. Now the zipper pull on the main compartment right here is um, it's dual sided. So you can either open it from this side or you can open it from this side, which is, you know, I, I really like like it. Um, now let's look at the very, very top first. So the top right here, this is where I have my sunglasses compartment and it's fleece lined on the inside right here. Um, and uh, let's see, let's take the sunglasses out, zip that back up. And inside in the interior right here, there is uh, right now I have a standard size iPad which I'll just put down. And in addition to the iPad, I have a Fujifilm X100V a granola bar, um, I have my Leatherman, and uh, over here there is room for an additional, um, you know, stash pocket pouch right here on either side. I have my AirPods on this one side right here. Um, and yeah, there's just a, you know, there's a kind of like a medium sleeve right here, a larger sleeve right here, and there is a pen pocket right here where I have one of my pens. And there is a security zipper at the very, very back for you to stow away cash or a passport or anything like that. And yeah, it's fairly deep. Um, but uh, yeah, this is kind of the uh, Bellroy Bench, uh, sorry, Bellroy Venture Sling. And now I'll kind of show you what it looks like with larger or different camera configurations. So right now I have here the uh, Sony A7 IV with a 20, Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8 attached with the lens hood not reversed. And it fits in right in here, no problem. So as you can tell, there's plenty of room um, yeah, for me to still put my sunglasses in here, I can put my cash, I can put my AirPods, um, and uh, if you had something soft, you can definitely put it on top like that. So, and this will zip up no problem. And yeah, so if you can kind of carry around a standard zoom, um, and again, the A7 IV is not a small camera, but so yeah, you have that kind of option. Uh, another option I want to show you is the um, Sony A7C with a 24 mil attached. And so this is kind of, you know, how much space, extra space that you have if you have a Sony a7C. Um, and yeah, look how much space there is. There's just tons of space. So maybe if you only do have a Sony a7C and you didn't want so much space, uh, Bellroy does have a six liter version of the Ventrois Venture Sling. So that is, you know, one option that you could do. Um, and lastly, I have a um, Leica Q2, which is just a, a little bit larger, um, kind of similar size to the A7C with a 24 mil attached. But once you kind of shove that in there, you know, it's right in there. And uh, the good thing about, like about the Venture Sling is that it does have a little bit of padding um, on the back side as well as the bottom side as well. So, you know, I, I don't think that I would need to put it into, you know, add more padding. As long as I'm not tossing the bag around, and I'm just setting the bag down gently, um, it is sufficient. So with the Bellroy, you can fit a water bottle lying down flat in here, and that will fit in there no problem. However, it does have these elastic pouches right here so you can actually just shove it to the side zip it up and it'll cinch it up and then you can actually carry your water bottle like this this is one additional bonus that the uh, Bellroy can do and that the air cannot and if you want to access your contents on the other side you can still access your contents without disturbing your water bottle Okay, so now this is the Air Day Sling 3 Max. Um, I've, cr I've put in essentially the exact same items I had in the Bellroy in here, and I'll kind of walk you through um, how I have it. So in this kind of front compartment, I also have my wipes fit in here nicely, and then um, the key leash. I like the key leash of the Air better. It just, it's just beefier and more substantial. I do like this key leash, but it's not elastic, but it's, a, eh, it's not a huge deal. The 
The one thing is though, because my keys are in here and I don't have a dedicated um, sunglasses compartment, I can't put my sunglasses in here because my keys would sc scratch my sunglasses. Um, it does have these nice grab tabs on either side so you can grab it to open and close this front zipper. Uh, now, when you're accessing the main compartment, it opens up like a U shape. So it opens up very large, so larger than the Bellroy. So it's nice and easy to see and access all of your contents. Um, the only one downfall about this is that if you had a larger camera and you're walking around and it was unzipped, your, your camera could potentially fall out. Whereas with the Bellroy, it wouldn't just because it's more, it's, it's a bag that just kind of opens up like this. Um, but anyways, so as you can tell, I have my sunglasses here. And again, it's not the most ideal spot spot because um, you know things could potentially scratch my lens um, so yeah there's no yeah dedicated sunglasses holder it would have been nice if they had something up here just like the Bellroy just to kind of keep it up there but they don't um, anyway so there are right in here I have like my granola bar I have my Fujifilm X100V um, and in here there's four elastic stash pockets these ones are slightly smaller and these ones are slightly larger and uh, here is my Leatherman I got my hand sanitizer and my AirPods. And uh, in here, I do have my iPad, which fits right in there. And uh, a security zipper with a passport, or you can put cash. Uh, this security zipper, it feels like it's a little bit larger, definitely a little bit larger than the Bellroy. So um, that's just one thing to note. And the pen pocket is right up here. So it's kind of out of the way, which is very nice. And in addition to all of that, there is that, um, you know, top grab handle and a nether zipper at the very, very back. I could put my sunglasses in here, but I feel like I don't want to because otherwise this would be kind of pushing up against my body and it could be crushing my sunglasses. Um, so that's, a, yeah, I feel like it's not a great spot for my sunglasses, but yeah, that's just an extra pocket in addition to, you know, whatever the Bellroy has. So now let's see how um, different camera combinations can fit in here. So this is the um, Sony a7 IV with the 24 to 70 um, attempt attached shove that in there and again that will fit nicely you won't be able to fit an ipad in there but you can tell right here that the camera will fit in nicely um so yeah this is kind of like a large camera setup and if you did have something a little bit smaller let's say like for example the sony a7c with a 24 millimeter attached there it kind of sits in there and there's still tons of space for other essentials and here is the Leica Q2. And this is how that kind of fits in there. And it closes very easily. One other thing that uh, you may want to put in is a water bottle. So this is just a standard size water bottle and that will fit in there no problem. So anyways, uh, those are kind of the differences between the two bags. Um, I like both of them for separate reasons. Uh, I feel like if they those two bags like married and fused together, that it would be the perfect bag. Um, but the, you know, that's not the case. But if I had to choose one of these bags, I think that I personally would choose um, the Bellroy Sling. And that's mainly because of it, it has a dedicated sunglasses um, pocket, uh, which, you know, I carry my sunglasses, you know, everywhere I go. Um, and then the other thing is also that you can eat much more easily uh, adjust the strap, um, you know, so I, whether it's on my left side or my right side, I can detach it from both sides. I could, you know, tighten it up, loosen it up very, very easily. Um, whereas the air just takes a little bit more effort to do so. But both bags are amazing, made of really high quality materials, and I would highly recommend both of them. So which one is gonna be right for you? It's kind of personal preference. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me do more just like this, please like and subscribe, and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31. What you want?